on the App Store, GoodNotes is now for AI notes and documents. What does that mean for digital note takers in 2025? Ask GoodNotes, that is the name of the generative AI in the app, is not available for all users. About nine countries are not supported due to local restrictions. It uses the Amazon bedrock, so your notes are subject to the Amazon Web Services privacy policy. The GoodNotes developers do not collect your conversational history unless you share it with them. That clarifies everything you might need to consider if you are to use the AI. For extra precaution though, avoid using AI or apps with AI if you have sensitive information that you can't afford to get into the public eye. Technology has been known to malfunction, and we'll leave it at that. As GoodNotes costs nothing extra if you have GoodNotes 6, both as a one-time purchase or a subscription. You have some monthly credits that reset each month. I wish these were cumulative though. That way we'll be able to use less or more depending on our usage history. That will probably make more sense if we're paying for them, so probably not a very practical approach. Notes are already summaries of information you get from textbooks. So unless you just want them as text, summarizing handwritten notes is a waste of your AI credits. But with a textbook, well, you might never take a single note ever again. Provided you have enough credits, of course, which at the moment we do not. Our credits are still limited. The app took an awfully long time to get ready for this document, so you want to keep your PDFs short. I ended up cancelling and extracting a few pages, which in itself is too much work, taking more time than just studying the book yourself. And even with just three pages, it still took a while to get the pages ready. But it was much better it did prepare it in a much shorter time. The only problem I have with summarizing specific pages is that you have to remember what they are. It would be better if we could navigate our textbooks to select the pages we want to summarize. The waiting time for me was too long. Perhaps because I was just waiting and not doing anything. The AI failed to summarize the three pages, but didn't explain why. Not only did I wait for it to do this, ended up not doing it, and still we don't know the reason why it's not working. I thought maybe we'll get lucky with one page. But that also failed, so this is one document that it seems us good notes can't work on. An explanation why the AI failed would help us understand the limitations of our AI tool in the app. Before writing it off as useless, we thought to give it another try with a less intense document. And finally, we made some progress. The reference links are great, but I still can't see how that is useful for learning especially. I'll still read and write my own notes for better understanding because you tend to want to summarize what you already understand. So if you are learning this for the first time, you'll probably do it yourself. Perhaps for teachers, maybe, the summaries could help them work faster. Overall, AI summaries, not a very good learning tool. You can only create a maximum of 10 questions for your quizzes. That is very little, especially for long documents. So it's better to do single pages. So you want to be creating 10 questions for every page in your notebook or in your textbook. Ask Good Notes checks your answers in real time and it's great because you have your notes on the site. It's easy to check the accuracy of the AI and even help you with the quiz when you're struggling with it. So that could be a very useful setup um, because quizzes for students or anyone trying to learn something new are great. In the past, we've had to create our own quizzes. We've had to think of questions too, you know, unless you have a simple, simple questions. This is really great. Creating more quizzes for the same documents generates a lot of the same questions. There's a lot of repetition, which doesn't help much.
Our school notes can generate flowcharts, timelines, and mind maps for your notes. That is another useful AI feature that we hope the developers can keep working on. Because at the moment, you only get an image that you can't edit. We hope that changes in the future. And with that, that covers all the useful, not worthy AI features in GoodNote 6. Which of these do you like best? Do let us know. Until next time, fantastic human, stay fantastic.